this is Dr. Aureen Wagner. Welcome to my Anxiety and OCD Quick Guide, Red Flags for Anxiety in Children and Teens. These are some signs and signals that a child may have anxiety, or a teen or an adult, but they do not mean that the child definitely has anxiety. So once again, if you have any concerns, you should run it by your doctor or a qualified mental health professional. But these are some red flags. Out of character behavior. If a child or a teen is acting very differently, that's not typical for them, it kind of makes you wonder, then that may be a sign that something's not quite right. If they're easily upset, upset they're refusing to do things that they previously would do, if they ask a lot of questions with what if. Well, what if it, what if there is a thunderstorm? Well, what if there isn't a thunderstorm? Well, what if, you know, this terrible thing happens? And there seem to be a lot of what ifs that again seem unusual or excessive. Asking for a lot of reassurance or asking the same questions over and over again, even though you've given the answers and you know they're smart enough to understand those answers. A change in attention. Suddenly they're inattentive, they seem withdrawn to themselves, isolated. They complain of a lot of stomach aches, headaches, pains. Um, their bodies don't feel well. They feel like throwing up. If they tend to be perfectionistic, which means that they, want, they not just want to do things well, but they're never satisfied with how well they're doing them, and they keep checking and having to do them over and over again. If they're very slow or late for things, they're not finishing their work, they don't want to go to school because school is getting overwhelming because of all the worries. They're having trouble sleeping. Very often people with anxiety have trouble sleeping at night. Avoiding things that they used to be able to do or like to do. And finally, what I call wasted logic. And what I mean by that is that whereas the child or the adult is typically a logical person, when they're very anxious or worried, you can't reason with them. The anxiety, the logic seems to be wasted on them. Thank you for listening to this Anxiety and OCD Quick Guide. For more quick guides and information, please visit my website, anxietywellness.com.